Karl Rove has been using secret money from a handful of billionaires to spread lies and poison our elections, an American Crossroads Watch has responded to several ads and exposed their deceptions and lies. But this new ad he dug up from a slime pit of lies is so bad we don't know where to start. It is so incredibly absurd it looks like he's lost touch with reality. The first thing I'm going to promise is that I'm going to be a voice in the room on behalf of middle class families. Really? Congress had Warren oversee how your tax dollars were spent, bailing out the same banks that helped cause the financial meltdown. Yes, Rove incredibly tries to blame Elizabeth Warren for bailing out the banks that caused the financial meltdown. First off, we are glad that Karl Rove finally admits what we all already know that the criminal banks on Wall Street caused the financial meltdown that has wreaked havoc on our economy and destroyed millions of people's lives. But it is the height of absurdity to blame the bailout on Warren when his hand-picked president, George W. Bush, who after running our country into the ditch, was the one who started the bailouts, not Elizabeth Warren. The bill the House considered yesterday commits up to 700 billion taxpayer dollars to purchase troubled assets from banks and other financial institutions. Our economy is depending on decisive action from the government. The sooner we address the problem, the sooner we can get back on the path of growth and job creation. Most experts, including Elizabeth Warren, point to the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act, championed by Republicans Phil Graham and Jim Leach back in 1999, that led to the economic crash of 2008. Then the ad says this. Bailouts that helped pay big bonuses to bank executives while middle-class Americans lost out. Yes, incredibly, Karl Rove's Crossroads GPS complains about big bonuses to big executives while middle-class Americans lost out. This, from a man who constantly whines about class warfare, in an Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass fantasy, attempts to paint himself as a champion of the little guy fighting against evil rich billionaires preying on the middle class. Once again, we are glad Karl Rowe finally sees the light about the 1%, but the words disingenuous and hypocrisy doesn't do justice to describe Crossroads GPS claiming to be angry at evil billionaires, being that Crossroads GPS in the ad is paid for by billionaires that fly in corporate jets and railed against Obama raising taxes on corporate jet owners. Karl Rove lives in a bizarre world where reality is fantasy and fantasy is reality. Let us review some of the billionaire buddies funding Crossroads GPS in this ad. Elizabeth Warren has led the charge to form the Consumer Protection Agency that will not only protect middle-class Americans from being preyed upon by big banks, but will also protect veterans and lower-class working people from being gouged by payday loan companies charging as much as 300% in interest. An agency being prevented from implementing these protections by Republicans filibustering Richard Cordray from being appointed. Karl Rove, you have sunk to a new low and you need to tell your billionaire buddies to keep their dirty money and this despicable ad filled with absurd lies out of our elections.